getting into Dust 2. We're jumping in, it's gonna be G2 and FaZe Clan. Clashing it for a spot in the Grand Finals. Astralis, they've done so well, picking themselves up a 2-0 yesterday, sending FaZe Clan here. And now, well, it's time to see which one of these two top five teams will secure a spot on the road to Rio Grand Final. Well, FaZe certainly are the favorites coming into this one, but G2 pack a punch on Dust 2. It's gonna be Nico. we saw this yesterday, actually. He sits in his smoke, he's been baited by Rain, who's known to play short, so it's a bit of a, a uh, variation of their default setup here. We'll see Rain just trying to get as much aggro as possible. He's firing off those shots to suggest he's the only player there. We saw Nico do this yesterday. He's going to be overlooked, and there's the first kill. It all works out, and that's Nico taking down Hunter. Mind game number Straight one. Away. Mind, Mind game number kill. one. That's what we like. Straight away, Nico's managed to shoot him in the back of the head. He had no idea. They're fighting, and oh! what was that rain? So precise at such long range. He's found two. Gets knocked off his perch eventually, but I mean, Colt's flanking. Kenny, the only healthy member of this duo. And Jax is about to walk straight into the woof, line nice. of fire. How did he not go down? He survives with a single point of health. So they can still give this one up here, FaZe Clan. Even though it started so well from the low HP of Cold and Nico, <laughs> it can be a bit of a worry. It's funny say, though, if and G2 on the server right now, who is going to give up the most <laughs> 1v3s, 1v4s? Who bloody knows at this point? Well, look, I, I think that it's likely to still be G2. I, I think that they're a bit more prone to making some of these mistakes. And, it, it, and it's to be expected, right? Just because of the sheer amount of talent available yeah. on both teams, those kind of rounds will happen. It, it's quite a funny when it does, but ultimately, that it's to be expected. There's so much raw aim and right. these two teams right it, now. This whole series will be a question of who can make fewer mistakes, because you know that those exploit... Uh, let me get, finish my sentence Go correctly. Those mistakes will be exploited sure. by the talent on the server today. Well, Jack's down to 1 HP. He'll be joined by Kenny S, who has 100. So a bit of a disparity in that regard, but they got to try and get the bomb down towards A if possible. It's looking pretty good in that regard. As we see, Jax plant the C4. Probably won't be winning this round, but they can find a couple more kills. They'll be able to buy up next round. Jax will drop down towards CT spawn, leaving Kenny on a bit of an island here. He's going to have to defend from long and short. Jax probably good for nothing at this point with 1 HP in spawn, but he does get a knobbly what? headshot across over. There could be something to be said about this one now. All Kenny has to do is hit one of these pot shots, and he's still struggling. Nico will eventually finish him, and Jack Jax, 1 HP. This should absolutely not be anything left for him to say. A single bullet. Brokey can't hit it. What? Oh, and Nico could go down as well. It's so <laughs> sketchy. Wait, they're, they're not defusing yet. No, Hold no, up. no. Kit's on Nico. Okay. He's got it. I was panicking. Bloody I hell. was panicking there for a moment. I wasn't quite sure if they had enough <laughs> that time. That was the first round of the series, boys. Well, <laughs> sets the tone for FaZe, sure. FaZe pick it up, and Nico was the man who kicked off the action. It makes uh, sense <laughs> that he was the man to finish the action. Three kills to his name right there. Hey, Rush, I could hear uh, typing after that initial exchange went down. Was that Nico and Hunter talking to one another? I'm um, just looking in some HP questions for the most part. Okay, so nothing, nothing like, oh, all right, I was yeah, expecting a bit no, of argy no, uh, but, no uh, Rush, sadly. in the future, just make something up. Uh, don't don't uh, reply yeah, like oh that. Oh my God. Yeah, We're trying to build a show here. I don't think it's safe for broadcast what <laughs> no, they just said. That was Jesus. rubbish. <laughs> There's always right, room hey, for boys. improvement. That's what we say here. <laughs> There's always room. For now, they have only opted for a single smoke grenade on Mr. Amanek. Now, He's taking that over to B. So it looks like the plan here is hope that they can throw a smoke and Amanek into B. It's and an draw idea. Something. I'm sure they'll keep the two over towards B, perhaps, but I don't think they'll make much of a dent towards long. So Amanek, he'll have no armor making his way forward. That's the orb on the second round there. Lovely work from Nico. Gets the first kill. And yeah, it's probably the best <laughs> idea. Just, just leave it. <laughs> Not worth it. Let's just move elsewhere. And you have a new of assault, very speedy, up towards short. They regroup with Amanek as well, so they can have all of their resources in one place. And a missed shot from Nico, a little bit of ground covered, but Rain should be flashing in. Nico's hit another, and these guys are looking like a Ooh. challenge to get to the site. What a very easy shot for Nico. Yeah, this is looking fierce from young Nico here. Sylvie Hunter with the one kill towards CT spawn. Cold Zero will go down. He's the B player, but they find the Flamas on the ground. And here come the AK 47s for sure. It's a replay for Nico, though you'll see him towards A plenty of times here. And uh, this is the only map I think he orbs on full time right now, Charles. He will pick it up occasionally, but yeah, this is the one where on the CT side, the yeah. game plan is get the orb in Nico's hands because of how potent you can be in exactly that scenario right there. One thing as well with Nico defending the A bomb site, I noticed yesterday versus Astralis a lot. He was. Oh, there it is, through the smoke. Okay, well, uh, anyway, we won't, worry about, we'll, we won't worry about what I was uh, getting into. We'll wait until that comes on in because Kenny, he's uh, kicked this round off in quite a stylish fashion. Yeah, it's. I mean, he's been hitting a lot of leg shots in the last Dust 2 we watched, but That's it was true. rare to see them converted into frags. He's gone straight through the smoke there. He's broken to get Cold Zero's gun. Maybe there's an M4 available. 
trying to just I think they're gonna gamble stack towards A. It makes sense to call. me. Yeah, why not? Like if they go towards B, sure. Just let them have the round. If not, they go to A, you've got four players there, you've got a good chance of maybe winning it. This is uh, very Ooh. creative. I like it. The thing when you're doing this is you want them to come. So I hope they don't throw any grenades to slow this down. I hope Rain doesn't drop his Molotov towards the brick box. He lures them in. You need them to get to at least Gandalf or they're going to cancel. That's the Molotov you were worried about. Jax, he wants to strafe down. He loves this move. Sinks up perfectly with a flash for the leg break. He's covered a lot of ground and he catches Rain by surprise. The flashes are good. There's a second to get him out. Long and long range, the spray connects. Nico caught out in the G2. This is looking very promising. Brokey though, can get a double kill and Nexa shuts that down. There was a window of opportunity. Brokey gets both those kills. He might be able to win the round. So it's the incendiary that will slow down the plant, but still we'll be going down here and all off my step. Pinned down towards Long. They know exactly where he is. He won't be winning this round, but maybe he can get away with the sniper itself. That was a nice G2 round there. The opening pick coming in from Kenny S. Finds Cold Zera. Starting things right down, going into the A drop. And as Alex pointed out, as Jax managing to get down undetected, gets that first kill, then a double down towards the pit as well. Nothing could be done. And even though four players are waiting towards the A side. It was really quite interesting what uh, G2 did there with the smokes. It was a, it was almost like they created a cocoon for Jax because sure. he wasn't dropping to fight. Look at this. You can see that smoke that he's pushing through here. That is actually their smoke. So they've dropped their own. So once he gets into spawn, he can take his time if they want to push him through. Have to worry about car. Exactly. Yeah. So it's taking a couple of angles out. Now they knew he was there, but they couldn't stop him. So that was a good stuff from G2 as now. They're going to change the pace a little bit quicker out long as per the pistol round. Amanek on his own all the way across. Lots of information early here. These Deagles of FaZe Clan, we've seen them do some absolutely naughty things in recent times. Nico really wants to find Amanek. So far, he's shown them nothing. Nothing to suggest he's down there other than the smoke on the corner. Maybe the steps could have been heard by Olaf, but now tons being pushed by Cold Zera. Oof, Nico with first contact. Kenny has tagged somewhat, but uh, safely in towards the pit for now. He'll have the advantage if Nico picks again. He likely will be dropped. Okay. I say that. Fantastic work there. The scout comes out on top, and now the orb not really recoverable. We'll have to flash over and jump in towards the pit. So we'll see what their move is. And that's exactly what they're going for. The run boost. Just to try and pick it, it up. Really not the run boost they were looking for. I mean, I can still get the AWP and challenge this. That's not a big deal. Uh, but still, a little bit comical there. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't worked out. That's two failed run boosts so far for the G2 tally. One short, one long. Walking up, though. Ooh, doesn't look good, Alex. I've got a real sinking feeling that they're going to walk into the phase four spy machine. Looks like Nexus managed to deal with the main body. It will be Rain's Deagle to do damage and look at the precise shots just into the rib cage and another body drops. It's all Damn. onto Amanek. They've done enough. Yeah, and he's already been tagged on that awkward run boost there. The Desert Eagle at close range. Rain picks up three kills in total. Amanek, no chance of winning this one. He's only got 15 seconds. He's towards the long doors. He's hoping he can survive. And in terms of the loss bonus, they could have $1,900 into that next round. So better off to saving the weapon, the AWP. With some Desert Eagles and armor, might be enough to do something in the next round. But now, FaZe Clan right back on track, winning their partial investment, picking up a couple of AK-47s. Scout there for Brokey as well. As we get into round number five, G2 will be on the back foot here. His Rain cashing in the low HP of Hunter and then spamming down next through the box. Managed to get a third. And let's have a look at the buy overall. Like I said, it's probably just uh, a partial investment of that. At least they have that AWP, right? At least there's one weapon to work with here as they move into round number five. Yeah, it gives us something to talk about for the G2 side. And it was good when uh, Kenny got the freebie through the smoke as well, but I'm not too sure how many more of those they'll be grabbing here. And Amanek, he's burning, he's hanging around, and he's even pushing on out. He gets a kill, but instantly traded. If they can lock down that AWP, this is fantastic for FaZe. It really is, but it looks like it has been retrieved. Hunter up short rather quick. He could try and punish Nico. He knows there's a scout down there. Makes that Tech-9 all the more imposing. Nico and Hunter about to take battle on the A side here. Hunter with the advantage with the Tech-9 in hand, also has armor. Nico unaware. Spots him now. And this is the first shot. Hunter will strike on him there. That's a really nice bit of scout mastery there. We're going to see just two players survive. Nexa and Kenny, they still have the AWP, so some damage can be done, but this is just brilliant from Nico. He hit the shot through Nexa into the head of Kenny. Little bit of luck on his side. Lady Luck likes Nico, but regardless, his scout's rocking tonight. 10 and 2. 
Just five rounds in. Let's see that action again. So it starts with the all-off catch onto Amanek. The orb was retrieved, but when Nico's hitting shots like that, that was a headshot. Yeah. That flick was so instantaneous, and that was straight through <laughs> Onexa into Kenny. That's oh, so dear. dirty. Well, there we have it. That was the partial buy from G2. They do have money going forward. Kenny is still with the sniper as well. Doesn't fire off the bullet this time. Incendiary down towards long and a bit of a B approach from G2, but looks at things here. Three towards the tunnels at the beginning. And they going got for a boost. Very precise numbers on the cross. That was a really clear two. Sure. See if that's uh, going to encourage them and entice them to contest doors. They're going to be seeing the underhand smoke enables them to get up safely with that stray. Very smoothly executed by the two of them. So completely obscured. Nades a little late, but still does chip away and soften them up for the remaining M4s. I just remember last time this matchup went down. And SEO's pointed it out with the stat lines here as well, that Hunter is normally a name that we look for to light things up on Dust2. And uh, he was struggling on their last matchup of Dust2. He was only 18 for 25 in terms of his KD, 56 ATR, and he's 1 and 5 currently. So hopefully it's not some woes because he is a big frag and they need him to step up here today. He didn't strike, he doesn't strike me as someone that would get in his own head, but that interview certainly did kind of start to point in that direction. Oh, and the flashbang. It's absolutely flawless from FaZe Clan. It enables him to find a double. And Amanek's in trouble too. Roki's going to lock him out. Yeah, really nice work here from FaZe Clan. You can see that synergy is just fantastic. A ding from Olof Meister. But the headshot from Nexa will bring us back to a three on three. But Amanek and the in game leader are incredibly low here. 25 seconds, the clock is as well. And Kenny misses out on a frag there. But they are heading in towards B. Cold Zero has just left that position. So they've got an open runway here with 15 seconds remaining. They seem to be locked onto the idea they could be an A attack here. Cold Zero oh, coming in late. He needs to try Slow. and find the first. And that's Amanek. And he has got no HP here. So that's a guaranteed frag. Knows that the orbs towards big box as well. Can't plant. Wow. Especially now as Cold hit that shot. And despite leaving the site, despite looking like he was absolutely oh. cream cracker, I can't believe Nexus is going to survive this. He might not. Oh. Very close. Would have got no... Well, he still gets no money, but would have had no AK-47 to go with it. He'll save the rifle. What a brilliant play this was, though. Look at this flashbang. They couldn't be more blind. He comes through. The orb can't even trade it out. There's about another second as well before Kenny S can even find that shot. Gold Zero, though. Watch this brilliant one. work. This is nuts. Big kill towards the platform itself. See you, mate. That's the orb as well, so... Massive round, five to one on the CT side, no less, boys. It's a good start. It is a very good and G2's start. pick. Look, I, I don't know if it's a yellow card offense to talk about the North versus Phase game on Inferno with the 11 1 right. scoreline. Right. Is that that's, is that yellow no, card? Because... That wasn't one of the rules. I think that's okay. okay. All right. So, look, that game, and that has kind of uh, turned us to look towards Phase as, as having trouble closing out matches in certain scenarios. They lose some really big rounds, and then, look, a couple more go in the bag. It gets close. Uh, we want to see FaZe Clan, who've clearly done a lot of work, who've clearly stepped it up in 2020, being able to close out matches after giving themselves such a massive right. lead. That's the last little piece of the puzzle. I've seen it before, and the script would read solid CT half, maybe double digits, shy of it perhaps, a 9-6, and then Kenny S with an AWP locks down your long take with a ridiculous 4K, and then FaZe becomes shells of themselves for the next three. Ooh. I like this move from Cold Zero right now. It's uh, a high-risk maneuver, that's for sure, but one that might not be expected. Watching from Jack's POV right now, and down he goes, Cold Zero announces his presence, and, well, there it is, the second kill be delivered as well. Nico providing that covering fire towards top of middle. Bomb goes down, and we have a five on three. Next mission ready to get Cold Zero out of lower, which they've done successfully. Now just need to go back to a default round, hold those crossfires. Shouldn't be much else to talk about, but bear in mind, Nexa does have that AK. Shouldn't be much more to say, as Henry has outlined. But Amanek and Nexa are going to be partnering up alongside for the ride is Hunter. Bomb top mid loose for now, being watched by Nico's careful gaze. There's nothing they can do without the smoke. They will be spotted on this cross. They seize two of them. Deploys the smoke at 45. Bomb still top mid. That will still be Nexa's responsibility. 
Oh, just as he went to go Yikes. for a pick onto the A site. Smoked on off, and here they have to retool once again. In the meantime, Brokey's taken full upper tunnels control, so if they want to go back there, Big. that's a bit of an issue. Yeah. Cold Zero waiting on the mid-door smoke. Where can they go? Well, they're going to go through middle, and I dare say they'll be out of luck here. That's Cold Zero up, finding his third frag, and maybe on for the fourth. No armor for Hunter, and he's dealt with in due course. Six to one, FaZe Clan in fifth gear right now as they have another clean sweep. Money's starting to get into a very promising position as well as G2. Remember, Nexus still with a struggle of money here. $3,800, there is a buy available for them, but certainly compromises there. You might have to go for a Galil, or they could sacrifice the AWP, which I don't think they want to do. hammerdex has been buying quite a few MAC-10s, so maybe they are happy to go with these compromised buys and Nexa onto that Galil, as you were foreshadowing. And here, when you move forward from this point, maybe G2 need to go for a bit of a pace change. Their spawns at the moment aren't indicative of a long take, though. You can see three individuals over towards the car side, towards B. It's not like the worst spawn you can really get. You're yeah. always towards B, so you can't really rush it. Uh, you haven't got the long spawn, no one can back him up. So it's just going to be what we can see right now, just a default round into somewhat of an execute. I would say one of their variations of the, the B split, maybe a drop down from Hunter this time and uh, see what he can do. Uh, but uh, that's probably going to be their best port of call, considering they have more utility uh, and less firepower. And I'd be particularly dissuaded from going anywhere near Cold's site. Oh, and yeah, in, for sure. In fast, because he's already demonstrated in the seven rounds so far that his multi-fragging's on. Yeah, he's looking thick out there, if you don't mind me saying. Yeah, how many Cs? Uh, at least three. At, at least? At least. Damn, okay. And yeah. that's only seven rounds in. Cold <laughs> is looking dummy thick tonight. <laughs> and we're back in with the fragging. Wow, we're so cool and young. Oh, awesome. we're Keep so hip. up with we're the kids. What? What they consider lit, Henry. Exactly. So, AWP oh. from Nico oh, just yeah. looks devastating oh, tonight. Yeah. The precision, the confidence. That was a headshot and it looked like perfect. Yeah, very, very impressive. And that's an early five on four. We said that a lot. Kenny S going down once again here on the Street to Dust 2. Opening pick for Nico, five on four, and a compromise setup. Next up, remember, still on Akalil. Grenade looked like it would do a lot more there. They're just behind them. Interesting. Look at Rain's adaption to that smoke. He decides to play within it, hoping anyone that drops down can be caught by him. Instead, as they start to pivot middle, so does he. Ready for the fight. Nico missing his shots, but Cold doesn't. Him and Brokey keeping him out on arm's reach. Look at that. A double kill again from Cold Zera. The oh. flash is so perfect. He does it himself, collecting another triple kill back to back. They are getting absolutely bloody wrecked out there. G2. They're losing the opening jewels. They can't even run their defaults. Their money's buggered. And this, uh, shot. this is the shot from Nico. This is when you know he means business. Like, he won't be missing many today. And there's that. Uh, Cold Zera getting it done as well. That tag team duo, Cold Zera and Nico, both superstars looking like they're in top form right now. This could be a difficult game to get back into. Oh, I just love it. The precision, the confidence there. He only had a couple of bullets left and still goes for a frag <laughs> like Kenny that. good. It's not moving. I was right, spotting for the lower dark yeah, push okay. after leave. So that, so he's getting, trying to get the information, anyone going down towards lower B and crossing Which over. Which Cold's already set a precedent for. Sure. Well, FaZe have equaled the amount of CT side of rounds they had last time these two teams went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And if you missed the pregame, they went overtime on Dust2 last time. And that was on the 26th of April, so not even that long ago either. They love this run boost. Works this time. Strafes him around the corner. You can see how ridiculous that looks. Even harder for an enemy AWPA that's supposed to be tracking that cross. Not going to work out for anything this time, and a very poor smoke, but a nade very effective. Jax and Kenny catch it. So they'll deploy their catwalk smoke. Objective get the bomb down here. Rain knows it, though. He positions himself with the M4A4 with a Deagle. That's much nicer. That's going to be the opening kill now, and they're actually making their move towards the A site. Tech 9 still that's an the amazing bomb, shot the bomb's from down. Nico. Oh How does he keep God. hitting those? They're going to throw it up. Respect to Hunter. That will enable the plant. Nico, though, is not missing much. Vision or otherwise. And he's posted up to catch Nexo, and he does hit it. God, he's looking deadly. Hunter's in trouble, oh, and Nico okay. hits everything. On for the ace, boys. On for the ace. Brokey will take it, but my God. You see why they give him the AWP on Dust2. That is wild. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with that. This is... World-class level of orping from Nico right now. 16 and 2 against G2 on their best map, their pick, and absolutely dumpstering them on the CT side. They've actually got six 
rounds in a row at this point. The bomb's only been planted twice, including the pistol, Chad. Yeah. And that round just gone. Uh, not, not ideal right now for G2, because when we normally talk about the T-side economy being able to punish the CTs, it comes with the caveat of getting kills and keeping the rounds close, yeah. as well as planting the bomb. You need to stimulate the economy in that regard. G2 have had to take a lot of these low-buy situations. This is the chance. They have to turn it around. Yeah, bear in mind, the only round they picked up, or the one round they have, was when Kenny S got an opening pick through, through the, the smoke. smoke yeah. So it wasn't even a clean skill shot through the double doors. It was straight through the smoke, and that was a five on four they won. Since then, they got the bomb down once and a partial buy. That's the best bit of news they've had. So I hope that fits into the context for you, that G2, this really is a rough one for them. And uh, FaZe, don't show any signs of slowing down thus far. Neither does Nico. 16 and two. A KD of eight right now. That's the maths I can do. That's impressive. I just had to use the calculator, but Ooh. so far, G2 are averaging 1.88 kills a round, nine rounds in. That's not ideal. Wow, not even averaging above two kills per round. Look at the angle Brokey's going for. Yeah, it's perfect, because Amanek's checking for that push. And he might even get two kills. I think he at least get Brokey if he commits to this, because Brokey's looking towards the left. It'd be such a difficult swing. And this long take could persuade the CTs to push forward. Olof hears it. He has a flash of his own, but how does he choose to play on this one? They evade it nicely. He gets the duel he was They're waiting pushing. for, but no flash. And now Brokey pushing straight in. Oh, the patience is rewarded. Amanek, he bided his time and now has full control of the B site. The bomb's going back through T-Sport and Hunter wants to lock him down. Rain's taking that smoke as an invitation. Wants to play around it. There's two of them heading up short. Two going to be dropping that oh. bomb off with Amanek, and now Rain's been caught. This is all G2. Nico just looking to preserve his AWP. We know what he's capable of with it, but he's got so much cash. It's an interesting turn of events. Bomb will be planted, and they have an extra couple of seconds. Extended now by Nexa. It looks like they're already setting up for this hunt, though, because they were sending players up towards the catwalk position while the bomb was trundling through T-spawn to plant on B. Now that Nico's locked himself in, we always talk about the advantage you have in this position with the shadow, but with the orb, if you miss, you're gonna get taken on down. And if you look at the wrong way, well, you're definitely gonna get taken the wrong down. Nico on Hunter again. This head to head, I'm yeah. gonna have to take a bit of a look. Yeah, you should. And uh, that's gonna be an interesting battle. Nice movement from Nico. Doesn't quite hit that one. Probably the first all shot he's missed, to be honest with you. And uh, that's gonna be him going down 17 to three. Plenty of money going forward. They can even bring out a double orb setup now. Just to close his half eye. I think that would be an excellent adjustment to get Brokey on the second three orb. Nico towards A. I think that would be the perfect. There it is. Okay, Nico and Brokey bringing it out. It's a really nice call. Just to kind of mix things up. G2, obviously aware of the tendencies there. They did a very good job of baiting that B push. So Amanek waiting for a, a three man long take with all the bells and whistles attached. Did yield him two kills. So now with the double orb setup, they won't be as aggressive towards the upper B area and uh, might counter what G2 are doing at this stage. Very deep incendiary, really locks Jax completely out, denying information at the first hurdle. Olof has support of Nico this time. Perfectly free frag. Olof beat it in. A flash as well for the repeak. And Nexa goes down. It's very neat and tidy. This couldn't be any oh, better for FaZe Clan. <laughs> that says it all from Kenny's. It's like, oh, FML at this point. This is uh, all falling apart. FML. <laughs> That's an old school one, uh, bringing it back. I used to go to like myfml.com or oh, something. Is that a website? I've if, heard of it. If they kill Cold Zero, they can get into B for free here. Oh, you're absolutely bang on. It will be Brokey to contest, but if he misses this shot, he does not. Two remaining, Kenny and Hunter, they still can get into this site, but Brokey has the audacity to take that fight, and he hits the first two, but so does Hunter. He's found two, a one versus four, bomb on his back, and two more to find. He's got a smoke for the doors. Well, we haven't seen much from Hunter yet, but he will get the bomb down up against Olaf Meister and Nico. A player that's had his number in every single one-on-one -on -one duel. They're both coming for the tunnels right now. Hunter with no grenades, but he has heard both of them there. There were a couple of sets of footsteps, and he's ready and waiting. How can I clear this together? Surely one high, one low. Nico doesn't adjust in time. Where's Olof? He asked himself, but he's found them both. A one versus four from Hunter. He finally finds his footing, coming alive for G2, securing the third. And that was monstrous. 1v4. Let's see that again. 
Good stuff there from Hunter. And with that kill right there on your screen, that is the first time he was, he's killed his cousin of Nico in this matchup so far. It was That's sitting. the yellow card, I'm afraid, Chad. Oh, you, yeah, okay. I'll put it, I'll give it to myself. <laughs> it's up, everybody. <laughs> the yellow card's yellow up. Guy. But it was <laughs> the first time that Hunter had taken down Nico in the series so far. It was sitting at 4-0 in, uh, in Ooh, Nico's favor at that beat. point. They've gone for an Nico stack here. Face out. This could be a little bit problematic. The first kill will be there. So next with the MAC-10. Perfect weapon to shut this down. It looks like they'll be fine. Olaf Mines will pull one back to the scout, but the smoke's been deployed. He'll pick up the MAC-10, bomb planted, and the excitement over. They won't be getting much further here. So what's the odds that this half gets away from FaZe here? Because this is now going to be three eight, on seven. the drop. Yeah. yeah, and the money's reset at this point. Nico was sitting up there with massive amounts of frags. He grabs another one. He has 19 kills, which means he's been doing so much work for the team up to this point. If he calls, if Nico calls at this point, then we have a game on our hands. G2 are going to be able to battle their way back in. The B call was real nice from Nexa. Yeah. Knows the money's low. No, the utility won't be holding them at bay, and they just take and run with the momentum. Amanek with a Mac 10, just strafing in, using that weapon to great success. Something that a lot of players can definitely learn from with Amanek is his utilization of the Mac 10. Ahead of the curve in that sense. So that was the eco for Phase Clan. We're coming to the final few rounds here. But as Chad mentioned, it's looking yeah. pretty good for a G2 comeback here. Eight seven. That's uh, certainly part of the script for FaZe and Dust 2, generally speaking. It's going to be Cold Zero attack at the start of the round as he crosses over towards B. Hasn't had much pressure there in the last few rounds as Nico tries to mix things up. They've got the single orb set up this time, positioned at short. He'll actually go back towards CG spawn and back up the rifle of Cold Zero, who's throwing his mid doors. Bit of a default setup here, but looks likely to be a B split with two towards tunnels right now. Interesting to see what that bomb finishes up. Currently on the back of Kenny. He is looking rather lackadaisical maneuvering in catwalk. Oh, maybe he's not calling just yet. I was worried about it, but that's the 20th kill for Nico already. 20 kills in 13 rounds and the 13th, not even concluding yet. Kenny really struggling to contribute in this stage of the game. He's going for the, I imagine, yeah, we've seen this lineup before. CT smoke down on the box and then the second to enable a perfect wall of smokes. Cold to be tested first, he only gets the one. Nexa and Kenny have done all of the hard work. Three kills in a matter of seconds, and now bombs have gone B. Well, I think that'll be it for all of Meister. Three versus one, not gonna fancy this at all. Finds the AK-47, and the money is broken. FaZe will receive $2,900 going forward as G2 Really starting to look themselves now. This is uh, looking fantastic for the resurgence towards the end of the T-half. Yeah, we're looking likely to, to see an 8-7 or at least a 9-6 half coming on through here because what you're saying with the $2,900 loss bonus, next round should be a freebie as yes. well. That's so going to post at least six on the board for G2. And then we go into the final gun round here of the half. It's a 50-50. It's a coin toss. We have to see what type of buy that FaZe are able to get under their belt. But there has been some problems over towards that B site. Amanek took down Brokey yet again. So he's been causing a bit of havoc over towards that area. We had the round where they faked long. Amanek took down the push of Brokey and Cold. They finished on the B bomb site. And this one here, they limped on out after losing the opening kill. And even uh, we're able to steal it away yet again. So the B site is where the mix-up for G2 has found success. So FaZe Clan have to week up the last round here. It really has fallen apart as they give up four in a row towards the tail end of this first half. It's a pick of G2. And to be fair, FaZe with the win on the CT side of Dust 2 is actually pretty massive for them. Cold Zero being tagged yet again as he crosses over. We've got a Zeus there. Dupree said yesterday in the interview he feels like the weapon is overpowered uh, in certain scenarios. See whether Brokey can find an opening kill with that. That was an ambitious little look from Nico, but if anything, it's just a threat. Kenny spots him, he gets away scarf free. He really wants to hit something. Desperate to do damage before they can set up and take this space for a, an execute into the site. It would be enough to completely destabilize the CTs. They're heading towards short, the CT stack kneeling long. Minute remaining, and the CTs are only real chances if they get a couple of one digs early on from the A side. Brokey just the USPB. He has got that Zeus bear in mind. 
And he's so, going to try and jump Zeus. Watch this. Yeah, that's all I can think of right now. That's <laughs> he's just going to try and jump in Zeus. Maybe you guess what? Nah. <laughs> Good, <laughs> Good attempt. Valiant yeah. attempt. It's just another one of these games. It's not as bad as the 11-1 T-side sure. versus North. And obviously, Dust2 is a map where it can get very easily swing. But this was one-way traffic for the first nine rounds of the game. It was a 9-1 scoreline here. And you can see G2, they've been able to claw their way back into this one. They've broken the money. That's put FaZe in this position here late. They haven't been able to hold on to guns. They've been put in weird scenarios. The hunting has been good. And now we're going to go into round number 15 with the final buys of both teams. Really, for FaZe, I think for their confidence going into the second half, it's integral that they pick up this round here. Is oh, Kenny getting involved in a bit of the body spamming? Kenny, that's the first yellow card of this evening, mate. First of the server. And uh, it's a little bit unfortunate that we will have to hand it out because the sin bin, I don't know how we can put him in there from, from here. Right. But well, you're already we... in there with him. That's so, true. Uh, yeah, I guess you can make up your own rules. As we'll see the final round here, great beast spawn, just to call that out. I don't think they'll use it, but... Uh, Always fun to see that come out at the very end. Kenny S will have that solo war for this final round. No funny business with auto snipers. Got to keep everything by the book. And the boost may be in lower B. Actually not. So flashing short now. And the bomb's outside long. Sneeko certainly slowed down after giving up five rounds in a row here. Another great phase start. Just can't hold on to it. Looking likely for 8-7, but there is a full buy for phase here. Flash for Nico, but he perfectly avoids it, times it, and my god, two incendiaries is a big no-no for Hunter. He decides the first was not enough, the second does dissuade him. Probably the right call there. You can see him bloodlusting, knowing that Nico was on the other side of things, unable to punish. But once again, they can lean back towards the B bomb site, or at least suggest that a mid to B's on the cards. That's where so much weakness has been for FaZe within these later stages, and that's forced Rain now to go play towards middle. So the problem is this A defense, it's very weak. It only has Nico defending Cat. You've got Olaf over towards Long. If he misses a couple, could be in trouble. Well, never mind. He's fouled him out. Good stuff from Rain there. He's detected Amanek normally on the end of the fishing rod for G2. Good flash from Nico, but it has to hit at least one of these, I would say. If the bomb goes down cleanly, could be in trouble. And his first shot will miss. Five on three, but C4 goes down no problem. Rain just waiting for his teammates to come out towards shore before he commits. If Hunter gets a double, we were on. But as Olaf found, finds Nexer, it puts it all onto Kenny S. This will not go anywhere. <laughs> Brokey hits the shot. He was exposed on the edge of the smoke. And we have a 9-6 half after all of that. FaZe will break their silence. It was, as you said, 8-1. Goes all the way to 8-6. String and five together for Jeet. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 9-6 on the half. And we're straight back into it. Brokey's on the jiggle. Seeing if anyone's up to a no good on the fast lower tons. But the CTs are up to their usual antics. A 3-2 split. Indeed. And this is the... European lower bracket final. Big game here. Big teams on the server and a close scoreline, 96. Faith on the T side will have a smoke. Molotov and a couple of flashes here, focusing their efforts towards the B tunnels right now, but just probing towards short as well. Just gonna see what they're up against. Interesting to see where Nico wants to use that smoke. He's currently up there towards short with the boys and will be lining up a catwalk smoke now. So, Smoke CT and drop a player. The fact he's seen nothing, but what a shot from Nexa to start off the proceeding. He actually opts for the HE oh, and he wow. dunks him. He finishes off Rain. Hunter's caught another, and this is G2's pistol, unless Nico wants to go off on another wild goose chase. He does tap away at Hunter relentlessly. He's already got three. This would be an ace clutch in the pistol. He's been on fire throughout this already. 24 and seven, cooled off a little. But coming back into the pistol with a vengeance. This will be absolutely massive if Nico can pull this one off. Can get the bomb from Big Box here, but Kenny S trying to defend it. Receives the first bullet. Nico just trying to make this a one versus one if possible. Still hasn't grabbed the bomb. Now has it. Needs to work out where the second player is. Knows where both are now. Can go for the safe plan. Trying to bait out Kenny, but if anything, just allows Jax to get closer now. Oh, the time's a problem as well. He maybe should have just set, stuck the initial plant. Jax tried to fake it with the movement, and he actually hits it last bullet. He has to be clean. Spots Kenny, looking for the ace clutch. There should be no way Kenny oh. will save the day. But Nico, he's got them all <laughs> a little hot under the collar after that. 
Wow. Nico with four kills. The bomb planted as well. He can afford a full setup into the next round here. It was looking great for a phase down round, but it was next up. Beautiful play with that dunk grenade as well towards CT Spawn. He picks himself up two kills. Nico, though, perfect maneuver to get the bomb planted. A great kill here towards Jax. Kenny S, though, as mentioned, with six HP there, was always going to come out on top, but a great effort. Surely going to buy the AK, which he does. Nico. Looking for vengeance here in round number two. Yeah, he can just use the AK himself. Everybody else can take the save here, and they can still opt in for a buy in the following round. So they're getting this Xbox down, smoke down. That'll give Nico the opportunity here to start probing for some frags. You can see no one going towards upper tunnels at the start, just all towards back of catwalk. Nico's even invested in some flashbangs, so they're going to have a real crack at this one. I'm sure. So just going to send up the, oh. the cannon fodder. Oh, we can cannon fodder at this point. All of my still down to 34. So Nico just going to flash over, put these guys out there as bait. See if he can crack open a few kills. Oh. Hunter gets the better of him and shuts down the round before anything can be done. I say anything. If Brokey gets this bomb plan, he should opt it to Why fate. Oh. He heard the steps. Jack just hunts him down, collects an extra $600. And G2 take another round. It's going to close this gap almost entirely now by the time you see these rifles coming out. It's already 9 to 8. Yeah, so that advantage Nico had in the previous round won't be found here. $2,600 will have to go for Deagle Armor instead, which is fine, not a huge deal. And actually, Olofmeister, that's very selfless. Actually saying, Nico, you're killing it right now. You've got 25 kills. Take this AK-47. Do God's work out there. It's rare you see that in pro play. No, well, it makes a lot of sense right now. Olofmeister, not in great form in this tournament. And uh, we'll see Rain helping himself towards long. It's looking quite good, but takes a lot of damage on Rue here. Jax will take him down. Olofmeister strikes the Desert Eagle. A lot of action here towards long. They line up for Nico, but he can't convert. Oh, it's chaos in long. And they turn tail very fast after that re-equalizer from Brokey. It's 2-1 now in terms of uh, frags in the second half for Nico and Hunter against each other. 2-1 in the favor of Hunter. Turning it on. So he's much needed now. He's up to 14 kills, leading the way for his team. But over towards B, it's going to have to be Nexa. Good position, to be honest with you, MP9. Good for at least one kill. Oh, maybe not as he's been baited out now. There's the first. Can't get that second. Significant damage towards Cold Zero, but still a two on two for now. Minute remaining. And they smoke the doors. Kenny S announces his presence. Trying to deny the plan here. Good incendiary. Bought some time for Aminek to come through tunnels, and Brokey aware of it, but not looking at T spawn. Needs to be very careful there. Bomb going down. Kenny. Trying to delay if possible, but can't commit. Oh, great shot. Amanek was on the flank, and now, wow, well, Kenny, he's dropped in. That is something, but cold. He is not going to give him the time of day. We'll hit the fantastic shot. It's a pair of frags for both of the remaining players on phase there. Impact players awarded to cold. Last frag found. And that does give phase a little bit of a voice now into the second half. It's getting a bit awkward towards long to start things off, but into next up. Trading effectively, and Bob's your uncle. I think the echoes of uh, those Glock kills on the previous round there are being felt here because you would assume with a bit of a, what looked like a yeah. bonus round for G2 going into that one, it was actually just hemorrhage repurchases because they did lose a couple of individuals earlier on in the piece. Now they have a question to ask. We highlighted these two individuals at the start of the day, Cold Zero and Nexa respectively. Last time round when these two guys met back in April, they were the highest performers for their squads. Chugging along nicely now. Nothing uh, to really write home about. Nobody can top Nico with 25 kills and still has 141 points of ATR, but we're still seeing some good stuff. Cold had some good multi kills. If he maintained this level for the rest of this half, we saw a full 30. I don't even know what number he could get to. He's at 25 already. Maybe he's going for the got, nifty. Yeah, 11 <laughs> rounds to play. There. He'd have to do some pretty ridiculous things. Need some triple kills every round from now on. Sally. Heading into B fast here, Hank. Oh, they indeed, and they've actually fully invested here. Problem. Amanek is going to have an open runway for a couple of kills. Sprays down Brokey and Cold Zera. They will be so upset that they realize they've gone against the full investment of CZs and SMGs and just rush B with them. Always leaves a bit of taste in your mouth there. That's the one round I'd say you don't want to do it, Chad. Yeah, and I think they were assuming the eco was going to come through. That's where I was leading with that conversation about the, the Glock kills earlier. I thought that the eco would have come through from G2. I thought they would have respected it. But now they don't need to respect anything. Jack should go down. Nico sharp as ever. 
but I need to find another individual in transition here because G2 have the number advantage, and I would say the advantage in the round. It's certainly not out of reach. You can recover from early casualties and weapons lost. I mean, now Nexus working with an M4. You got the AK for Kenny recovered. This is the kill. If Rain goes down, doesn't get any damage done here, call the round done. Oh, Nexus spotted him. He's a headshot angle, but the AK, it strikes viciously. The boost could catch him off. He's so flash. His back is turned. Hunter, he's got such a viable avenue of assault here. He hasn't managed to strike just yet. Smoke still. Starting to fade, he plans to reside within it. Such an important frag there, Rain low. And making footsteps, Rain should be able to find him, but still, it's Hunter striking first. Gets the AK-47, three versus two, 20 seconds remaining, bomb goes down. So that's the first step. Now step two is beating off the three that return for this retake. Kenny's playing elevator, he hasn't been checked by Nico. He could get caught on the jiggle here, but turns to the site. Long will be a threat, that's Hunter working on that. Oh, God, he doesn't miss. Amonek's gone down short. First time he peeks. Olof could get caught, and he does, and Kenny's got them both. G2 will take the ninth here, and he'll recover the AWP in the meantime. Oh, they haven't started defusing yet? Yeah, they're fine. Should be fine? Should be They've fine. They've probably got the tunes yeah, on. And Kenny picked up a defuse kit as well in transition, so... What well, looked... Oh. Wait. Oh. They haven't won it. <laughs> oh, my God! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Kenny picked up a kit. <laughs> I, I was like, I, when I saw the money, I was like... <laughs> God, not like doesn't, that. It, doesn't look, it doesn't look like they have it. G2 not, and bombs. It's not, I, I, I thought they, it's I thought it was virtual enough. It's a blunder. He's even called it early. And he has... So why hasn't he got the music turned on? Even I've got the music turned on for that reason low. That's so the know, only reason. And he's like you said, Chad, they had a kit as well. He could have well, got Kenny off Kenny had just picked up the kit. So right. I, I don't I don't know. But if Kenny had gotten straight on the yeah, diffuse, definitely. he ran he for the look, orb. he runs off. So oh, Kenny no. runs for the orb. If he started diffusing oh, instantly... It's embarrassing. Yeah, they probably win the round. It's embarrassing, boys. You don't love to see it. Not one of them. The eco victory, and he's run away from the Off the Amonex double kill as well. Like, he's a very mild mannered uh, individual. He's probably going to just be They are quite infamous for those sort of rounds as well. If you look back to the, the nuke diffuse situation, yep. that was pretty much that replicated, but on the other sort of yeah. situation. This time, in this time, actually, someone and tried the bomb to defuse. Was there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but, dear. Oh, that's, that could be the game in itself. I'd be tilted off the face of the planet if I was a teammate of those two. Oh, no. Yeah, Amanek right now, he's doing the Hey Arthur hand. Yeah, theme, right. You know, just... <laughs> How much do these guys have to go through as a team? You lose to mouse spots with a coach Hunter and stand put in. it very well. Oh, bloody hell. They've, they've had a couple of horrible losses he, lately, I mean, they? he just went on to list the opponents they've played. It's oh, like everyone's got like a, a score to settle, a yeah. vendetta, ex-teammates of Malek, ex-teammates of one of them, ex-teammates oh. of the other. It's been a bloody well, we wild did, ride. We did say coming into this one, FaZe and G2 on the server could have some fireworks, and we've uh, had the first showing of them. Quite a spectacle. I can't believe that. I, <laughs> I, was, I was like, well, he's got to have the music on, That's right? the sort of thing that would happen in our games. I don't think anything like that No, it twice. wouldn't happen in our, in our games, because I'd be yelling at you guys <laughs> to defuse the bomb. <laughs> it it yeah. definitely Even, wouldn't happen in our he games. He sees me running to that's the orb. He's like, Alex, get it, back on that, that bomb. That maneuver's called the James Bardolf, when you're going for, you've got the round in the bag, <laughs> you go to collect an orb, and the bomb's down, and then you end up losing. Okay. He's I, done that a few times. I haven't seen that we'll one. Call yeah, that the it's a pretty infamous clip. All right, all right. Start shooting the corpse a bit with the same Yeah, door. exactly. And he's like, oh, I'm just going to get the old boys. Don't worry about this. Defuse in the bag. Well, G2 have gone all in here. So we, we have kind of lost our minds a little bit, but for good reason. G2 have gone all in with the saved orb of Kenny S and the defuse kit, mind you. But here's the problem. They don't have any grenades. There's 50 seconds left on the clock. FaZe have been able to take all the map control they want. This mid push is everything here for G2. They need to capitalize on some kills in transition. Yeah, and I mean, Amanek's done it plenty of times before, but with only the UMP... He plans to try and clear middle. He's, he's fortunate that it's only the MAC-10 spotting him, but Olof, he's got a bigger gun, and he does find the first. Nico swings into the second again. Amanek oh, nearly takes what? three. His UMP is so deadly. Give this man an SMG, and he'll do wonders. Another double kill, but it still looks like it could be in vain for Amanek. Well, it's getting up to Jax now. CZ in spawn, 15 seconds remaining. A low HP player with the Ooh. bomb as well. He gets us one bullet on him. It's enough, but still, Rain will find the killing blow, and maybe even the rounds here. And he gives up his position with the shot from CD spawn. He can't deny the plan, but he'll certainly try and uh, not meant to be. Looks like his days are numbered now. 42 HP, starting to peel off and phase. Just about stick landing there. That was a force buy from G2, a full investment as well. So with the loss bonus coming in at $2,400 next round, sure they'll save an all, but can't really do too much with it. 
Wow, what a couple of strange rounds. Yeah, this has been, uh, been an odd one here. And well, we knew it was going to be. When we saw this game go down last time, Mirage, I was baffled by some of the mid-round plays we saw there because they were targeting each other's tendencies and the way they like to approach the defaults of rounds. It looked like they had strats and little maneuvers to deal with each other. And that made for a very strange game of Mirage. It didn't play very fluid. It felt a little bit janky. Everybody was holding back a little bit, not quite sure what to expect. And it was another game that went into overtime. So close affairs between these two is expected. But I feel like that round that G2 have lost there, if they lose the game now, 16 to 8, that's going to stick with them. That's going to stick with them for the rest of the night. You consider how close a couple of their games have been in recent memory. I mean, I don't want to remind you of the 2v5 on Dust2, but there was a 2v5 on Dust2. That was a pretty bad 2v5 on Dust2, yeah, if I recall. There's been a lot of them on the road to Rio. Certainly been a bumpy ride here. This will be the final timeout for G2 on their pick. Fourth time I use certainly doesn't suggest this is going uh, exactly the plan, if you ask me. And we'll get into this round here. It's going to be another nightmare for them in terms of decisions made due to the finances. They've got a saved orb. Kenny has to pick that up, but he's, he's 9 and 15. Kenny has not been great this week. Very streaky. And in terms of form, this last month, to be honest with you, he's been great. It's just been a very off week. Yeah, he's been lighting it up, especially like Vertigo yeah, was great. But definitely. then we were, we were watching them the last couple of Dust 2 outings that we saw. And this is meant to be Kenny's playground. So when you keep that in mind, he needs to step on up and help the team here. Well, this would be a great round to do it. He was uh, unfortunately responsible for that blunder. Over towards the A side, if he can win them this round with the saved orb, all will be forgiven. All will be forgotten. Oh, no, the meme team at G2 will make sure they never sure, well, forget. Well, of course, but I mean, just for now, well, we're just going to close okay. our dust yeah, and yeah. move on. I'm if he can do that, everyone's cool. Oh. First shot isn't his, and now they know exactly where he is. And he was actually being hunted down. I can't believe Rain managed to close that gap that fast, but he did take a pot shot. Hunter's pushed up middle. Now, previously, Amanek managed to make this work wonderfully. He's actually called for his teammates to join him. Kenny to cover. This is looking slightly scary. Kenny is Very in the perfect scary. position. If they try and catch these aggressive oh, no. pistol players, they'll be met by the orb of Kenny. Hunter on the flank. the flank. Oh no, Nico's gonna be furious. Hunter gets another. He'll be happy with that one. Doesn't opt for the rifle. Instead, he continues to try and be a thorn in their side, but they're accelerating B. Wow. Very strange scenes here. Rain Kenny's got a freebie. Ooh. Oh, you're right. He could actually find Rain, no problem here. He's towards a long corner right now. He'll start walking up. Kenny's going to check this guaranteed kill. The B side's open, so not all is lost. They've Surely still got smoke not. and Molotov. I dare say they could still do this. There's they might no as well kit, get boys. Not a single kit to in play. Uh, I, I, don't th I don't think they win it. I think that FaZe kind of overthought this round. I think that they uh, got a bit too tricky. Well, they've had a couple of nightmarish rounds here. Remember the, the Rush B? That's they right. did recover it, but... Uh, at the same time, this is a similar scenario. Broke, I mean, Brokey and Cold Zera genuinely have a shot at this, but it is going to require everything to work perfectly. Brokey needs this. He doesn't get it. Nexa it's all over. has found the necessary frag, and now Cold's got four players hunting him down. He'll just get overwhelmed. It's Amanek to find it with a 5-7. A lot of bullets he can just throw down range, and this time they will have plenty of time for that defuse. So just to back up our discussion with Kenny, so it doesn't feel like we're kind of uh, getting stuck in on the guy for no necessary reason, SEO has given us some stats here. He said the last month on Dust2 for Kenny, he's had a 1.04 rating. His career average, now it is a long career, sure. and that means holding a rating like this is very impressive, is a 1.16 rating. Wow. So he's definitely below his career form of what we expect from him on a map like Dust2. So we can only speculate as to why this is happening. But he stepped up just there with a couple of big frags, so maybe this is the turning point. Well, it's forced uh, phase down to an eco, so certainly could be. They've had their own disastrous round now as well, and they'll just have Glocks and a Desert Eagle. No armor, up, just a smoke as well. So I'd imagine just a contact smoke towards B, trying to get that bomb down. Could be the same towards A as well. Not really a huge deal where they finish up because G2 almost certainly went around. Not if Rain can keep that up, though. The Glock actually strikes first. <laughs> Oh, no, we can't have another one of these. There's Surely. not supposed to be more than one of the rounds like this. We've already had two of them. Madness ensuing. Looks like Nex is not going to be succumbing to the craziness. But hang on. Maybe it's some Glock oh. work from Rain. There was a chance. If only he had the Desert Eagle, which is what Nico's working with. He's got two players spraying him down. He will get caught through the doors eventually. And now, just a matter of time for Cold Zara and Brokey. Jax is going to be checking in on Long in about three seconds. One, two, watching three. It. And he does stabilize his aim nicely. Good response from Jax. Doesn't get too lost in that spray. Well, very close game here. Two rounds in a row for G2 after winning with a partial bye. 
We'll see them have AK-47s in their ranks, two of those. M4s for Amalek and Nexa, and we do have a buy once again for FaZe. It does broke you out the orb, I'd imagine so, considering he has a P250 right now. I would really love to see FaZe start to use some timeouts here with this game getting close. They have three remaining. Just talk through some of your options here, because there's only a handful of gun rounds left to get these 16. G2 are coming, and this could be the start. Wow, Kenny was stuck between a rock and a hard place. He wanted to watch close. There was players there too, but Brokey very quick into the angle. Very rehearsed take of middle here from FaZe Clan. They've got Rain, Nico all in response. Amonix actually opted for the AWP as he retreats. But it's only Amonek on B and he's leaving to deal with middle. If Olaf was to take a couple of liberties, they'd know it was clear. And now Nico's taken down the Amonek. This should very well be the B finish. I don't know if G2 are even going to be interested yeah, in anything. You can't go for this one. It's just not possible. Uh, you're assuming they'll finish up towards B. Your money's pretty good, but this round is just uh, a good way to throw cash away. So you might as well hold on to what you've got. See if any T's go hunting. They probably will not. So FaZe will be very happy this. They, they don't want to hunt, to be honest with you. They want to keep their all five alive, get that money built up. They went $3,500 for exploding the bomb here. No real reason to go hunting. So this should be quite a drawn out 40 seconds, but one we can all enjoy together. Hey, uh, hey Rush, how you doing, mate? Hello. How are you finding the game? Yeah, so far so good. I like pressing three and the kills everybody. That's okay. really fun. I it's really like that. It's quite simple for you this time around, oh, isn't yeah, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm definitely happy. What are you guys thinking so far? Uh, look, I'm surprised that uh, there have been the, the round where the bomb wasn't defused, to be honest with you. That, uh, that did take me by surprise. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Other than that, it's it, the game's as we would expect. We expected a close one. We we know that they were close last time they played, and that's how we're uh, well digesting the Counter Strike here. Speaking yeah. of digesting, Rush, you eating anything good lately? Uh, what did I have? I, oh, I had a bacon and egg sandwich today, oh. and I, I had brown sauce. If people don't know what brown sauce is, it's a UK uh, classic cuisine. Um, Do you know what <laughs> HP stands for, though? <laughs> I actually don't. Do you don't? Well, it stands for Houses of Parliament. Oh, very, yeah. uh, very British, very Made official. a lot of sense until they sold to a Chinese company. Oh, well, you know, it happens. It does. It does happen. But Rest I do peace, like brown sauce. sauce. It's very nice. Do recommend it on a bacon and egg sandwich, guys. Thank wow. you, Rush. No we'll worries. try that tomorrow. Our resident Brit. <laughs> <laughs> the quiz, cuisine gossip. Oh, What's just happened there? Oh, look at that! Two orpers pull the trigger and three bodies hit the deck. <laughs> Jesus. Collateral okay. from Kenny to start off proceedings in round 24. Now we're getting somewhere. That's more like it. Nico and Rain down from the T-spawn area, and it is going to be the double kill to open things up. Kenny S dropped in response. The round's still on the face here, but what a start. <laughs> Dust, I haven't seen one of those in years. Oh, dear. We know that FaZe love that change-up where they just barrel down middle and take control of mid-doors early. Well, one way to make that It's stop. called suicide for a reason, yeah, Chad. Yeah, that AWP. Uh, yikes. The, there is a reason that, uh, you know, running down mid like that against Kenny is something that people didn't used to do a couple of years ago. This is a lock. Look at this. They're surrounded. Completely yeah. surrounded already. Hunter's got his nades lined up. Olaf is ahead of them, but next uh, he's happily collecting. Oh, this is a, such a perfect lockout. Kenny started. Hunter and Nexa finish. G2, they find a crucial round. They needed that one. That's going to keep FaZe so honest into the 25th. Puts 11 on the board as well for the French squad. Or I should say international squad nowadays, of course, communicating outside of the language they're most comfortable with. Let's see this again. So oh. bang! Just like that, Kenny takes the chance through the smoke as well, no less. Yeah, good stuff. It's uh, one of the rounds he had in the first half as well, was killing Cold Zero through a smoke jumping across. That was the first gun round they'd actually, actually the first round of the game they'd put on the yeah. board. Well, good point. There's going to be five players towards B from phase. Swinging for the fences here. AKs are out next. Uh, poised as he gets the first. He's bought some time for Kenny S coming through the window, but he can't convert the shots. Absolute pandemonium ensuing once again, and it is the B-side under Fade's remit here. Are they going for it? Apparently so. Hunter fancies it. Calling for the flashbang here. Jax, he could provide it. There it is. Flashbang to go over, and they will strike as the bomb's going down, knowing a player will be removed for 3.5 seconds. They just need that sound cue to come through. There it is. That should be the flashbang now. Jax will throw it. In we go. Oh, and through the flames and the bullets and the flash, Olaf still pulls the trigger onto Amanek. That finds his second. And that could be enough for the two remaining G2 members just to scarper. Jax and Hunter are going to try and maintain everything they've brought into this. They've got the T weaponry, always a bonus for the defense. But FaZe, they make the ballsy call there, Chad. Straight yeah. into B. We saw what happened when it doesn't work. I mean, Amanek just 
can't believe his luck, but we saw them decelerate for a second on the incendiary and nade, and then as soon as that was starting to fade, everyone started making the noise. Yeah, and it's a good call, a good little change up there. It's something that was very popular, uh, actually, in the Katowice Major of 2019. There are a lot of teams who are capitalizing on B defenders who are solo. They throw the Molotov and they go, well, we can put this out and we can run you down. It was never instant. It was always with that slight pause, just so t they would think that they're safe. They think that it's not a rush. And it was used so much. I remember it quite vividly back then. It's good to see everything uh, getting a bit of shelf life once more. As we move up to round 14 on the board here for phase one more, they've one locked more up the, well, almost locked up the map. So this could be the final buy, but if this one falls awry, they could be in a lot of trouble here. Panic buttons will be pressed. Lost bonus is not there for them. They're at the bottom of the barrel. $1,900 next round. If they give this one up and no one saves, there'll just be no money. And map point found the phase on G2's pick. Rain trying to help himself towards the smoke. Flashbang's decent. Will it break by this angle? Apparently so. Rain opens things up. Nika in the second, but Kenny is still here and alive and kicking. He surely goes down and it's going to be a headshot from Nico towards Cold Zera, but still a one versus one. God. Oh, it's still alive, Nico. I thought he'd gone down. Yeah. So good to go. He hit the shot in the end, but at a cost of Kenny doing great damage. He hit another shot before going down. Next up being held by Olof and God, it got close. Had he found that, he's on for the 1v1, but Olof securing 15 and G2 broken. This could very well be G2 losing their map pick. So. Uh, they have no timeouts, bear that in mind. FaZe will be fools now to call this themselves. Don't give them a chance to gather their thoughts, leave them scrambling, make some bad decisions with the finances. I'm um, expecting scouts, but I don't see any. It's actually just be one Famas and pistols elsewhere. Two Desert Eagles, a 5-7 Framanek and Hunter on the CZ. Should be closed out right here, right now. But you never know. FaZe, I wouldn't call them closers exactly on Dust2. Some of their pre previous foot faults have not occurred here at the start of round 27. No one's ran out long and died to a CZ. No one's got caught early by the double doors close angle. In fact, they're molotoving it off as we speak. Everyone is feeling the good positive vibrations for FaZe Clan into the 27th. So round 27 is where it could all come crumbling down for G2. A good resurgence. Their first half, 8-1 down, managed to pull it back to 9-6. The second half started off well, but some disastrous moments with uh, a confusing underfused bomb. I've left them with a 15-11 scoreline and just pistols here. If they can win this round, they're back into it, but my God, does it ever look good for FaZe. Forty seconds. Phase. There is a slight problem if they start letting that clock get a little too low. Don't want to get caught out by that. There isn't the threat of any smoke grenades, but a well-placed frag from Kenny could get the proceedings started. Hunter's pushing, pushing short as well. He will be found by Rain. So into B's the plan. Three CTs there to receive them. This could go horribly wrong. Backs are turned, and it just takes two. Jax has got him as well. And it's falling apart, dissolving for FaZe Clan. He can clutch it. Brokey has to. He does find Nexa. One remains. The flash trajectory does give him a good understanding as to where Jax is coming from. Is this enough, though? Brokey gets the bomb down. Jax towards the window. One bullet to the head. With